Hey guys, it's Fatima back with another video this time, and we are finally here with our WWE Backlash France um, show predictions or premium live events or pay per view, whatever you guys want to call it. I don't know, know what to do, really call it, but yeah, so uh, I want, really want to do do predictions for Backlash this year because I didn't do it last year with um because we didn't have internet at the time, so I honestly didn't bother doing any predictions being on my community post or anything like that, so yeah, we're finally here, and yeah, I just got like everyone here, I'm trying to fi figure out, but I just want to get everyone in, and then I just want, like I said, I got J, A, and on the, on the, just on, just, just above everyone, but I got most of the champions here, and just most of the people that are going to be a part of the event, which comes to the weird thing is that there is only like five matches on here, I thought maybe we're going to get an Arcon, the Arcon Championship match, but as far as I know, we only have five matches, which are the four championships matches, and then there were, and I think one is just just a kind of like grudge match type thing, a usual tag match like last year. Yeah, well, I don't know. Let's just so yeah, first one France is gonna be at noon. That's why I'm doing it after midnight right now, and I'm gonna get up, get this one up. Well, I also I think I'm just gonna get this one up right now, and then later on I'll get. The uh, Ultimate Edition and Logan, my Ultimate Edition Logan Paul figure review up. So, yeah, I just want to get this out of the way so I have my predictions ready and people can watch it before. And I need to wake up early because my uncle's gonna be here to check a, like the car part and everything for the silver car and everything. But yeah, let's just let's just stop talking and go on to the predictions themselves. So the next match I want to talk about first is the Women's Tag Team Championship match. And with the Kabuki Wars defending against the team of Jake to uh, Bianca Belair and Jake Cargill and yeah I'm not too excited for this match in some cases I don't know it's just maybe I'm a little bit tired of the maybe I'm starting to get a little bit fatigued with this women's tag team division even though we don't really see that often we don't really see it too often on, on pay per views I think the only time we saw it was on the was Elimination Chamber on the pre show but yeah we got these two teams going at it again. Obviously, the Down Control got sent to Raw. These were on SmackDown, so it's going to determine. Or Wednesday is going to determine if the Control can still go on SmackDown and everything. But yeah. As far as I think it's going to win, I don't know. It's like back and forth with me. Like, some points, I, got, I think that maybe the team of Ava, Bianca and Jade are going to win, then I think the Kabuki War is going to obtain. But I don't know. I think I'm, I think just to be safe because I kind of expect this. I'm gonna have to see Jay. I think it's just gonna be Jade and Bianca that's gonna take the tag tiles off of the Kabuki Warriors, and then we're gonna just have Damage Troll and Raw do their thing over there, and maybe Kabuki Warriors will get the championships back later on. Yeah, I'll just pick Bianca and Jade just to be safe. But yeah, let's just move on from to the next match, which I'm actually excited for this one but more than this one. But uh, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I, I, I'm really just playing these matches because I what I expect to be in order. But honestly, this could be be beyond a little layer. But I don't know. Again, I don't know the exact order. But we're going to be talking about the tag team match. Which at this point, I think this is pretty much the usual thing we get every year. We get like a tag match. We got a tag match last year involving the Bloodline. Now we got this one. So yeah, we got the Bloodlines, um, Souls Koa, and the MF, MFT. The Tama Tonga against the, the team of RKO, oh, of Randy Orton and and and, and um, Kevin oh, and Kevin Owens. Like I said, that's pretty much it. And yeah, I um, they kind of build this up a lot. We had the arrival of Tama Tonga, which destroyed Jim Uso. He busted open Kevin Owens and beat be him a lot. And then last night on SmackDown, these guys got into a brawl around the end. So this is gonna be a this is gonna be com has, this this is gonna basically has combustible running all, all over it, like I said. And I'm just gonna it's, these these four these two teams are gonna tear each other apart. As far as I'm gonna think it's gonna win, like I can see the team of KO and, and Randy winning, but I think the one thing I'm, I think I'm picking making the Bloodline win because we are still gonna that we still need to have the, the debut of Jacob. Lot two, which I th I'm pretty sure that's, I'm pretty sure that's his name. But again, he's the, he's well, he's related to um, Souls Co and everything. Like I said, and 
Uh, I think he's even the, one of the sons of a manga, like I said. I'm mostly just thinking of that. But yeah, I, I think he's going to be the one tipping point for the bloodline to win. And yeah, so Jacob, he's going to be here. He's going to be here. He's going to cost Team K RKO the win, and we're going to get the bloodline to win. It's mostly just to build more of this new bloodline since Roman's out, they took out Jimmy. And obviously Jay's on Raw, but you kind of get the point. Let's just move on to the next. And yeah, I'm just going to stop talking about this and let's just move on to the next match. So the next match match I do want to talk about is the WWE Women's Championship match. Match with, which is a triple threat. Um, we had Bayley defending her champion against Naomi and, and Tiny Strand. Obviously this made, was made a triple threat because of the the, the person that ruins everything, and Nia Jax, again, she tagged all of them on SmackDown last week, and sure. it was kind of chaos and raw again, but yeah. For the most part, I'm very excited. I'm kind of excited for more, this match more than the the, tag team cha the Women's Tag Team Championship match, but again, and you kind of just got one of the three of the best women's. Like, two of the best. Basically, you just got a variety of women from Bailey, who's been basically Grand Slam ch champion. Naomi, former SmackDown Women's Champion, obviously, and Timmy Strand. Then, then they're all going on the block with the being a former NXT Women's Champion, but as far as, far as this, this is kind of like her Bailey's second defense, and, I, and I'm mostly going to pick Bailey to retain and everything. I can even see maybe Timmy Strand winning through the chaos and everything, but yeah, I'm mostly going to pick Bailey just to be safe, but yeah. Bailey for my pick, I'm going to look forward to this match. But now, but yeah, I'm gonna look forward to this match. But like I said, let's go on to the next match. So now going on to one of our, our two main events that we got, we got the the world championship match with with um Damon Priest going against the Heat Meister, Ayuso, and again, I'm being I'm sorry if I'm being a little bit quiet. Um, I'm, I'm just again it's late. I really want to get this done so I can get. Get to bed. I need to get up early because again, that because it's coming on at noon, and then on top of that, again, like I said, my uncle's just coming, coming all over to check, check them on the car part or something. I don't know. On top of that, but yeah, like I said, I'm very excited. For, this what match I'm very very excited for. Jay Uso's like second world championship match in the past because um well, his last one was against Roman Reigns and J Jimmy cost that. Same thing with the Intercontinental Championship. Obviously, there's no Jimmy now outside unless Saul's going after him. I don't think anything's going to happen. But as far as what I'm going to think is going to win this match, it's again this is kind of like one of these hard things. I I want to say Jay A. Uso is going to get his win, but at the same time, this I think this is this is Damian Priest's first win defense. I don't know. I think it's I think I'm just going to say Dan da Damian Priest is going to retain for now, and then he's going to take on Damian uh, Drew McIntyre. Iron and he might take it off the belt off him. I don't know. And then we're probably gonna go into the CM Punk and Drew McIntyre feud, but I don't know. Like I said, uh, if Jay Uso wins, then I'm all in for it. I'm all, all in for the World World Heavyweight Champion Jay Uso. Like I said, but yep. Let's move on to the main. Event. And finally, we have the main event, which I well, what I think is gonna be the main event is gonna be the for the WWE Undisputed Championship. Cody Rhodes having his first defense ever since finishing the story, he's gonna take on AJ Styles. And yeah. Well there's some point I mean I think that AJ oh and I should have been the one to face Cody first, but honestly, I'm okay with AJ Styles facing him. Plus I don't expect LA Knight winning, so and so maybe some some time later down the line, maybe he'll get another shot at this, but But yeah, this is basically basically um kind of Kind of was bringing us back like New Japan, which I'm pretty sure these two were in New Japan together. But, but yeah, these two do face in each other again. Two Bullet Club members going, and and this is going to be, well, it's gonna be, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. As far as what I think is gonna win, well, it's obvious. I'm gonna pick Cody to retain. First defense, not again. First defense of of. Of his title ever since finishing the story, like I said, and again, I'm not, I'm not expecting to drop it here. On the first pay per view, after ever Mania, so yeah, Co Cody's going to retain. That's how it is, unless something happens. But like I said, 
I'm just gonna pick Cody all the way. But that's pretty much it. And then, yeah, I think we're, I'm just gonna stop here for predictions because, like I said, you get to sleep, you need to get up, and you need to do some stuff for to get this out. But, yep, like I said, that's pretty much it. Remember, like, do comment down below what you guys think, think is this pay per view, what you guys, who you think is gonna win what, which, which match, and everything. Just all that stuff down below. Subscribe, tap the bell. More videos coming soon. More figure reviews. More everything. Still working on AW Revolution, which view, which I'm gonna have to get finished soon. And the same thing goes my AW Dynasty review. But now yeah, I'm done. That's pretty much it. And the size 15, going right here, right kicking, out of here.